Hi there, I'm Maiza Lopez Crispino, a peer mentor at Brooklyn College, and I'm here today to share some tips on email etiquette with you because our online learning setup requires all of us to be professional email writers. Before emailing your professors with questions, ask yourself the following two things. One, can the answer to my question be found in the syllabus? And two, can I text a classmate to help me find the answers? If the answer to either of those was yes, you may not need to email your professor. If you do need to write that email, here are a few tips. Let's start easy. What is your email? If you are embarrassed to say your email out loud to a room full of people, chances are you need a new one. Professional emails are important. You want to be taken seriously, and having an email such as honeybun123 at gmail.com might make that difficult. Now more than ever, your professors will be receiving tons of emails from students just like yourself with questions and concerns. Don't make your professors work too hard to read your emails. In your subject line, you should include the class code and a very brief summary of your inquiry. Trust me, I know it's hard, but the main point of your email should be in the first line. Your professor should not have to go on a scavenger hunt to find your question. Lastly, an email is not a text, so make sure to use professional language, don't have any typos, and don't use all caps. Also, you will have to be more mindful of your tone. In a text, you can throw an LOL or an emoji, but you can't do that with email. So, have a friend preview your emails and let them tell you what the email sounds like. I hope you like these tips. If you want to be connected with a peer mentor like me, reach us at peermentoring at brooklyn.cuny.edu.